Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to set order of execution on your custom actions. So let me tell you the scenario for this uh, demo. So what we're going to do is create an account. After the account is created, we're going to create an opportunity. And then we're going to retrieve the automatic number from opportunity. So I have a custom auto number on the opportunity object in my uh, demo org. Salesforce org and we're going to retrieve it after we create the opportunity. So let's start. I'm going to set a simple push just to create an account. So we're going to do account, create account. That will be our first one that we're going to run. So simple create. I'm going to map the field, uh, the account name to the account name that we have on the form. And notice that it's using custom button action. <clears throat> Our second one is to create an opportunity. And we will run this in a custom action as well. And let's set the mapping. Let's see what is mandatory. So we're going to set the name as the op name and the stage as the off stage and the close date I have a hidden that gets the today date and let's map also the account ID to the created account ID so that's a hidden that I have on the form that will get that hidden once we run our first custom action which is to create the account um, another thing so this is the pushes now let's get the off stage setup. So we're just going to go to the element, get rid of all the choices, and sync it from Salesforce. So let's grab the opportunity object and we'll select the stage, hit apply. Now, our next order of business, let's just fix this, create an account ID. Um, what we want to do next is run a, a get. So we will run a get on the opportunity. Okay, and we're going to use this in a custom action as well. The only thing we need to map is our auto number, which is the auto number from up. And we're going to say this one we're going to map as well, your order number. I'll show you what this does in just a second. Let's just apply this and set our condition, of course. So we're going to take the opportunity ID equals to our created op ID. And in a moment, you'll see how everything hooks up together. Let me just see what I have. Up order number. That's what I want to map. So go back to my form settings to the get and map that guy as well. And we're gonna map it here to our order number. Uh, let's just take a look at our map fields. Great. We're all set up. Now let me show you how you run <clears throat> the actions in the order that we need them to run. So we're going to head over to our custom uh, action uh, button, Salesforce action. You can do this from conditions as well. Um, so we're going to select our account. We're going to select our opportunity and our opportunity get. Now, what we're going to do here is return the values. So we're going to return the created account to the created account, the created op ID to the created op ID. Now we're going to check our custom execution order. And basically what it will do is um, once you set the order, then it will run whatever you set and then it will be 
first. Whenever the first one is done, then it will go to the second and then the third. So we're going to run our account create first. Second one it will be the opportunity. And the third one will be the get on our on our um, order number from the opportunity. So let's set this at three. And we're going to hit apply. And let's just set the debug mode here. So we can see our hidden fields. So we're going to save our form. Let's publish this, see how it does. All right, so let's do and I'm going to select the stage. Let's do prospecting and now watch this. I'm going to run my actions and then we can see that it ran exactly as we wanted it. So first one, the account was created. Second one, the opportunity was created. And then our get ran and gave us an order number. Now let's do uh, just something real nice. And let's just set a condition here. And we're going to say this field is not empty. Then what we're going to do is run execute a button. And we're going to do go next. I'm going to hit apply. And again, this is just a sample scenario of what you might use and let's remove the mandatory what I wanted to do is to hide this and now let's run our form again and we're gonna do and let's select the stage so that will be prospecting as well run my action so we got one two or get ran and then it sent us to the next page. Thank you for the order. Your order number is, this is the order number that we got after the opportunity was created. Then we got that um, dynamically from Salesforce. And this is how it's done.